Hey, what's up everybody? Today I am doing another one of my luxury hauls. In this case is not a luxury haul, I'm just out of vibrate. Um, kind of like a luxury haul slash versus slash, I don't know, I wanted to show both of these items and I thought I would just show them all together because I've worn this shirt so much and it's actually from my dirty clothes right now, so yeah. So this shirt was, I'm guessing from the title, you'll know, $750. The shirt and it fits like a shirt it's uh i wore this on my birthday it's a vintage jim morrison shirt i'm guessing it's authentic which is why it's so expensive so i'm gonna just go ahead and put this on and show you guys <laughs> and then we're gonna compare this to 750 chanel glasses i bought and i want you guys to tell me was it worth it and would you have bought it so this is the 750 shirt uh i have receipts <laughs> I got this off of Etsy and the shop is so expensive but for some reason this shirt like really spoke to me I felt like I had a pretty good energy let me know what you guys think like I said I wore it in my birthday vlog on my second channel and I really like it it's really really comfortable like it's really soft and everything but I don't know if it was worth $750 I remember I like to tell everybody too I'm like yeah this shirt is $750 I don't know I feel like when you spend that much on a shirt you should just walk around with the price tag on it but this didn't even come with a price tag nor did it come with a tag so, yeah, I don't know. I could have gotten totally <laughs> ripped off. This could just be like a new shirt and they made it look vintage. I don't know. I don't know how to tell authenticity of vintage items. So this was the first $750 item and I spent the exact same amount on brand new Chanel glasses. So kind of like what what's worth the money? You guys let me know if any of it's worth the money. If you're like, yes, 100% would buy. Okay, so just... Think of it this way, like what if someone just gave you $700 but you couldn't put it in your bank and you couldn't put it towards bills, like you have to buy one of these items. That's kind of what I'm asking, not like what would you buy because a lot of people are like, bitch, I'm not buying that for $700. Like there are so many better things to put $700 towards, trust. But um, yeah, if someone like gave you money to only buy one of these items, like what would you pick? Uh, okay, anyways, <laughs> now we have, there's a bag too I gotta find. Where is that bag? I bought a bag from Fred Siegel that was like literally like $3,000 and it was like a vintage patch bag and I have no idea where it is because we're going to Fred Siegel for lunch and I really, really want to find the bag. But anyways, okay, so these are the brand new Chanel sunglasses. I have yet to open them because I wanted to show you guys because I spent $700 on the glasses. I'm going to show them off because what? You know what I mean? So, okay, we're going to open these up. I love sunglasses. Sunglasses are like my favorite thing in the whole world. No matter how skinny or fat, you get sunglasses to fit your face, and sunglasses are forever. And Chanel's just like classic. Chanel makes really big sunglasses too. I got these big shield runaway glasses, and the pouch already is humongous, like bigger than any pouch I think I've gotten. So we'll see how this works. I wanted to wear these today with my outfit. I got this cute little checkered outfit on, little race car. So it kind of reminded me of like race car goggles. Okay, come on out. All right, so these are the shield glasses. They're pretty lightweight. Chanel is kind of known to have lightweight sunglasses, which is like good, but also like it can feel like knockoffy. but I got them from the Chanel website, so they ain't. Okay. Or are these? I mean, these are kind of everything. I'm kind of like, I kind of don't hate these. Yeah, cute. I like, I feel like a bug and I think that's kind of everything with these kind of glasses. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I like just how big they are and how little they make my face. Like I just feel like this is like an Instagram or a Snapchat filter, RIP Snapchat. Who uses Snapchat anymore? I don't, except for my private Snapchat. Um, I like how like wide this is so it makes my forehead look small, my face looks small and all around small. So. Yes, these are my recent extravagant purchases. Yes, I still rent an apartment. I live in a very nice apartment. I will say overpriced apartment, I must say. But yeah, I know, I throw away money, just like my rent. This, like, on that note, my apartment is very overpriced and very expensive. And it's just like throwing away money each month. I'm just like, here, just take this money that I will never see again and I have to move out of this apartment eventually or I just die in this apartment, which, that's tragic um and i get that too so i've been trying to be better on my spending habits i really really have i i'm dating someone who is very conservative with his money and he's inspired me so much i'm like i need to probably get my shit together and like be an adult but you know i'm 30 and i'm still buying vintage tees 
of a band I don't even listen to and sunglasses that make me look like a bug. So uh, anyways, I don't know if this was like totally, totally worthless or not. Oh, I have another unboxing. You guys wanna see? It kinda goes with my outfit today. Should I show you? It wasn't, it wasn't as bougie. Well, actually it was more than both of these things. So here's the third option. It's a little surprise option for you guys. All right, ooh, just like got out of breath by jumping up and sprinting to get this purse. So I got this purse from Annette Porter. This is a brand I have been seeing everywhere and I kind of really didn't even know what it was, but I guess it's like this new kind of off, <laughs> little frog in my throat. A little like not your traditional like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, like I guess this is like a designer brand, but I don't know where it came from, I don't know what it means. Um, also this morning, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but this morning was the Royal Wedding, and just a side note, I've never been more jealous or envious of a woman than I am of Meghan Markle. One, she is beautiful, but two, she married a prince that just like looks at her and is just like, oh, oh, if my husband doesn't say that to me when I'm at the altar getting married, if I ever get married, which we know that probably won't happen. I'm this crazy. I'm a little bit crazy. In case you haven't heard, I'm a little bit of a basket case. I'm very emotional. Most guys are scared of me. <laughs> um, but if I ever did, uh, I want him to say, no, you know what? Scratch that. I don't, I, I would love him to say that, but honestly, I just want someone to say I do and then we're married forever. Um, no, but the way he like looked at her, the way she looked at him, she looked so beautiful. She gets to be a duchess. Oh, she gets to make beautiful babies, have beautiful dresses. She doesn't need to be on social media. She doesn't have to work. Let's be real, like I'm a boss bitch. Like I'm an independent girl. I paid for all this shit myself. Like I, and I love it. I'm gonna be that boss bitch forever. But let's be real, like if a prince came and swept me off my feet and was like, hey, delete your social media, I'm gonna take care of you. You're gonna wear designer outfits. You're gonna have my babies. We're gonna be in love forever. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Independent one. No, 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 no. I need my man. This is my daddy right here. Like I, I've always loved the idea and romanticized the idea of like a guy just takes care of you. Um, the problem is not everyone's Prince Harry. <laughs> usually people who can take care of you are usually assholes and they're controlling and you shouldn't do that because then if you want to get out of the situation, you can't because you have no money and you have no means of making money. I've been there, done that. It's not a great situation, but if it was a prince and like Prince Harry where you're just taken care of and you're secure and the whole country is behind your relationship, you know, yeah, take care of me. I just, I, there, there is something very romanticized about being like a princess. I know everyone yelled at me and said, she's not a princess. And some people are like, technically she is. I don't know, I don't live in England, but it was beautiful and I'm so jealous. Mm. Okay, anyways, <laughs> that was a side note. Um, I was just, thought, I was thinking today. Okay, so yeah, this is from Netta Porter. It's the brand called Off-White. And I've seen this bag everywhere, like literally everywhere. I saw Alyssa Viola have it. I think Corinna has it. Like I, I, I've seen this everywhere and I just really never knew what this purse was and I was kind of like it's cute like to me it reminded me of like a Marc Jacobs purse oh which reminds me there's a Marc Jacobs backpack on I think it's Neiman it's like a pink backpack I really want anyways I also want the MCM black one I also want Jeffree Star's pink Gucci backpack oh but yeah this is just like a cute little side thing now I love side purses because I mean hi you can like drape them but girls with big boobs know the struggle that it just kind of makes you look a little like porn starry kind of like I don't know. Actually, this one isn't too bad for big busted girls. Sometimes when you wear, ooh, this is cute. Maybe I should wear this today. Oh, cute, cute. Um, yeah, it's really cute. You can just kind of fit like your basic necessities. I wonder if my camera would fit in there. Oh, I'm filming with my camera. Yeah, if I could fit my camera in here, this is actually kind of perfect. Off-white, it's a made in Italy brand. Um, I had ordered a pair of shoes from Farfetch or something. They were way too big, but this is really, really cute. I'm really, really kind of obsessed with this. I um, I sell a lot of my designer purses online. I've been, again, trying to be resourceful. If I buy a new bag, I try and sell one first. Uh, oh, this is cute. This is like a little, oh my gosh, paper clip. Oh, okay, I don't know where I was. I had to take a phone call, but yeah, this is the purse. Um, oh, I should vibrate this. Um, it's cute. It's kind of like a construction thing. This, this is also the company that makes those like yellow construction belts, you know, that you see everyone wearing at like Coachella. And I'm not gonna lie, I got one too because I was like, this is pretty cute. But yeah, it's got this like cool like paperclip thing. Uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat. There's a bunch of tags inside. This was about like I said, a thousand dollars, which is <laughs> is a lot for a tiny little purse like this. But cute nonetheless. Um, I also just got my nails done. Do you love? Ah, oh, there's a place called Lack here in. LA, amazing. They do the best, best, best acrylic nails and designs and stones. Like I had a whole set of all stone nails on each finger and never came off once in Bora Bora, but got that little thing there too. So this is a thousand, so for, no, this was like 8.95 or something like that. 
Let me say the price. Like $8.95. So it's all around the same price. So you tell me what was worth it, what wasn't. I give you $1,000. What are you going to buy? Are you going to buy the Chanel glasses, the t-shirt, or the off-white bag? So it's kind of a versus, versus, versus. A purse I can see a little, I can see spending like 800 bucks on as opposed to like sunglasses. It's a little pricey and a t-shirt. What? <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I just really wanted to talk to you guys today. As you can tell, I'm in a very talkative mood. Um, some mornings I just wake up and I'm like, I want to film something, but I'm like, what do I film? So this is what you're getting. I love you guys. Thanks so much. I can't wait to tell you what I'm wearing this outfit for today. I don't know. You, well, actually, I don't even really know what I'm wearing this outfit for. It's just I know. Anyways, you'll see eventually. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And until next time, here are my kisses for lovely fishies. Bye, guys.